Sheen and I had a chance to catch up here before we did the warm up and first dyno session. And I got to ask him questions like, you know, what, what did you come across that you, you didn't expect or, or what do you think is going to happen? What do you think you're going to see? Uh, just a number of things. He and I have been working together almost 10 years now on different things. And he, many years ago, said, I'll, let me just build you a 632. And I said, I can't do a tall deck in my car. So I've been wanting to do a big inch, uh, short deck, big block for a long time. I bought this back during the pandemic and uh, we're gonna do it here for 2025. So Shane, very meticulous, put it all together for me. Uh, and we're gonna let this thing rip. Now, I wanted to do an intake shootout because I've never seen where a stock out of the box 2927 Super Victor was put up against a Profiler Sniper Junior on a big inch engine. I've seen some where they've done some porting on like Engine Masters or somewhere, I forget where I saw it, but they'd already had some work done. I wanted to see what it looked like out of the box. Shane knew that I wasn't gonna see what I wanted to see out of the box, but for the purposes of a potential shootout there between the intakes, I didn't want him to touch it. So here we go, we're gonna make some dyno poles and we're gonna see what happens.
so she knew what he was going to see. He knew that there wasn't enough intake uh, to support the RPM we were going to shoot for. I was shooting for in the sevens because that's what uh, this cam is supposed to make. The cam's, what, 780 lift on the intake side, 273, 281, duration at 50. So it, it's a pretty good sized deal. And Straub and I, we talked, we were looking for 72, 7400 RPM, plus or minus. And we just didn't get there in this session with the out of the box Super Victor. Now, we have about one more week where Shane can keep this uh, before I have to have it back to get it in the car for Mega Week. And he is going to go ahead and port my Super Victor intake. And he's just going to do it where he can fit it in. And he knows that he can't do everything he wants to do. There's just not enough time. So he's going to go ahead and give it his best shot with what time he's got available. And uh, let's see how the car picks up or let's see if it hurts it. Wow, I think Shane nailed it. We picked up 30 horsepower at peaks. Uh, it's actually 40 horsepower at 7100 that I'm seeing. It picked up low, mid, high. It, it helped everywhere. Now, I know Shane's super meticulous. He didn't get to do everything he wanted to do. And that's just sometimes how it falls out with the way the schedule worked out. Uh, and, and when we got all their parts and stuff in this first event. Now... All this is great. What I see on paper is great. I've got over 700 foot pounds from 4,400 to 6,400 RPM. And uh, really what matters is what it's going to do in the car. I need to run in the 850s this year in 2025. I'm going to put this nitrous plate on it. We did test it with the nitrous plate on under the carb. Um, maybe it would do a little better without that. And maybe a spacer, who knows, but that's not how it's going to be in the car. So I'm not terribly worried about trying to get every little last number on this piece of paper i'm very happy with what we did i think it sounds great the fact it doesn't have any leaks and it, we didn't blot any seals we made a number of pulls and everything's still happy uh, we checked the lash after we pulled it off the dyno and now let the fun begin events are coming so stay tuned for that let's see what this car does with this big inch bad boy 555 thanks for watching